Hello and welcome to Science Made Fun. Hi, I'm Colin. And I'm Emily. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most spectacular sights in nature, the Northern Lights. Ooh, I've heard about them. Aren't they also called Aurora Borealis? Well done. Yes, that is their Latin name. They were given this name by the famous Italian astronomer Galileo, and it means the Red Dawn of the North. So what exactly are the Northern Lights? Right, well they're waves of bright glowing light often seen near the North Pole, especially during March to April and September to October. Have a look at the podcast page on our website for pictures and a great video. So what causes this bright light display? Okay, before we can understand how they are formed, we need to travel 150 million kilometres to our sun. The sun is not as quiet and peaceful as it appears. There are frequent eruptions on its surface. These eruptions fire tiny particles out into space, and some of these particles reach the Earth. But we also need to know that the Earth is like a giant magnet. If you ever play with a magnet and some iron filings, you will have seen the pattern of the magnetic field lines. The Earth too has a magnetic field, and the particles from the Sun get captured by it. Then, because the field lines start at the Earth's poles, this is where the particles are pulled towards. However, before they completely reach the poles, they are stopped by the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is made up of a number of gases, which are also made up of particles. It is collisions between these gas particles and the particles from the Sun that produce the northern lights. There is a lot of science in there. You've got the sun, magnetism, gases, collisions, and light. Okay, so how far from the North Pole can the aurora be seen? Around 2,500 kilometres from the magnetic North Pole. This is as far down as southern Scandinavia, the Hudson Bay, and Alaska. However, on occasion, it reaches even further south. It has been seen in Manchester in England, which is actually where Science Made Fun HQ is. Are there times when the northern lights are more common than others? Good question, Em. To answer this one, we need to travel back to the sun again. The sun goes through a cycle where the explosions from its surface are greatest every 11 years. More explosions mean more particles fired out into space. This means that there are more particles to hit our atmosphere, causing more lights. OK, so today we understand why the northern lights are there, but what did our ancestors think of them? As with most things, they created stories to explain what was happening. The Finnish word for the lights translates as fire foxes. They believed that foxes with fiery tails lived in Lapland, and that the lights were sparks that the foxes flicked up into the sky. The Danish people also thought that animals caused the aurora. They believed that they were due to swans flying so far north that they got trapped by the ice. They said that the lights were the reflections of the trapped swans beating their wings. It's incredible to think the things that science can explain these days, isn't it? It really is. Well, time is almost up, but we'll leave you with the last cool fact. Aurora aren't just seen in the north, they can also be seen at the South Pole too. But this isn't all. They're not just seen on the Earth. These fantastic light displays have been seen on Saturn and Jupiter as well. Now that's fun. OK, that's all for today. Until next time, remember, science, science is fun. fun. We're launching a brand new website. Why not check it out at www.sciencemadefun.org.uk There are loads of pictures, links and videos for you to play around with. And we also have a new email address for requests. If there's a topic you want us to talk about, then send us a message to requests at sciencemadefun.org.uk Until next time, thanks for listening.